Guess what time it is? It's police body cam time. So um, after there's two body cams, one with the hunters and their dogs, and the and that one hubby had called the cops on the landlord, which he didn't know it was the landlord. I'll explain that after you see the body cam. And the second one is when they call the cops on us for property damage. A day before we had to be out of the house. So anyway, let's get to the hunting dog body cam first. Frequently on our property. Uh -huh. And I said the pigs are up in the uh, coffee, land. coffee land up there. And of course, once the dogs were released, they went right to where we know the pigs were hiding. Okay. And it was obviously right near their house or something and they, they were very upset that the boys uh, caught the pig, caught one pig. They ripped up a pig in front of their grandson. Apparently. They were very upset. I guess it was a very emotional They had their phones out and were them. recording the whole thing apparently. And But anyway, we called the boys back. Right. You know, and they told them to go away and then we, we, we sent them down. Okay, whose who's land is that up there? Ours. Oh, they were on your guy. Uh, they were hunting on your guys. They rent from us. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Well, if I can just get one of your names, just to say I spoke with you. I spoke with And, uh, yeah. And then, gentlemen have been hunting. We have a pig problem. Okay. So, that's fine. That's like. And then, um, what's your date of birth? But I'm the one that spoke with them on the phone. They called screaming and yelling, swearing at me. Okay. You know, yeah, I it's, mean, it's an incident. It's a thing. Okay. But we've removed the pigs immediately. Yeah, I let them know we're coming and up there right yeah. now to make sure the boys get out of there and come where they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. further down. Yeah, down now. Right. I mean, that's fine as long as as long as you get they were on your guys' property. I mean, there's yeah. really nothing. I mean, what what are they what are they calling to report? Harassment. No, no, they're they're calling to complain people are hunting pigs and they weren't notified or something. That's true. We didn't. Usually we them. don't, but we don't. We, they come hunting on our property. They've never and then actually they, come up there. They okay. came up there this time. They, okay. You know, running dog, they go after Right, right, right. So it is certainly... No, I mean, it's understandable. We're, I'm just... We're sorry that that happened. Oh, that's fine. Maybe next time if, if they are going to hunt, just let them know. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm going to tell them because it's, yeah. it's really... There's really nothing criminal. It's just... I'm just going to go and talk, have a talk with them. Yes. But, yeah. Yes. That's all. Yeah, we will. Things will go down. Okay. And then what is a um, good telephone number for you? J. J. Yeah, we're in here with J. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So yeah, is it on I mean, the mother side of the room? No, no. I no, it's like the second house. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. but that's all. You guys are good. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks Thank for coming down. Sorry about it. Hello. Is your dad here? No, or... he's not. Did you oh. need him here? Because oh. he was all here with everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so, so. So we were in the living room, mm -hmm. and my son came screaming, crying. Mm -hmm. I get they the dogs were attacking the pig. Oh, okay. The boys came up. It looked like they stabbed the pig. Mm -hmm. Everything was just gushing out. Basically, we were not informed. We have animals. My kids run around. Right. You know, anything could have happened to my son. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what really upset my parents is because we. Nobody informed us that there was any hunting going on. Mm -hmm. You know, they're trying to tell us, oh, we never told them go up there. The dogs are going to follow the scent of the pigs. Right, right. You know? Yeah. So it happened right outside our window. My son's freaking out. My son was just downstairs before that happened. Um, we have other dogs, animals. So that's, that's what happened. Okay. You know, we just, we didn't know anything. Right, right. So you know, I just... How did my child get bit, you know? Right, right. So I just went and spoke to them. They said that they, um, they didn't expect the dogs to come up here. They usually mm -hmm. go... They said that they hunt here all the time, but the dogs usually go mm -hmm. that way. Just so happened they came up here this time. Mm -hmm. They said that in the future, I did let them know that in the future, if they're going to be hunting, they should at least let you guys know. Being yeah. that you guys all live yeah. kind of on the same. Yeah, because we don't want the pigs. The pigs is digging up our yard. You know? Right, so right. Of course we want them, but right. let Just us be know. courteous. I don't need my kids seeing that. I don't need our animals getting attacked. You okay. know, that's the whole thing. Really. Okay. So they, they also said that... Um, Maybe instead of like hunting with the dogs up here, they're gonna start. They're gonna bring traps. Yeah, that's so, what she told us on the phone because we did call her. Yeah, so she just told me that 
to let you guys know again mm -hmm. that they are going to bring traps. I don't know where they're going to put them. She didn't say they're going to put them mm -hmm. on your guys' property, but they said they'll be in there. Yeah, we're fine with that. We're fine with having the traps. You know, we just don't want the killing, the shooting, whatever. Being right, right. Here. Yeah. So move it, take it to your property, do it there. Okay. You know? Well, that's that's pretty much what I told her. Yeah. I mean, to let you guys know if they do plan on hunting or anything. Right. Um, other than that, is there anything else we can do for you guys? Uh, no. You, yeah, see, we called my brother. For, I guess my dad must have called my brother. So he must have called my brother first. Mm -hmm. My brother said, okay, call them. His record is endangering. I said, okay, but my son wasn't downstairs. He was probably in there. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, he said, but still, you know, just just make a report because they're really yeah. sketchy with us. Okay. You know, it's like they're they're kicking out all these people to bring. So we're just worried about that. Okay. You know, but still, like safety. Right, right. Know? Yeah, There's... no, totally. Um, can I just get your name just yeah, to say I spoke? Uh, data and then this is your guy's address yeah. what um what alphabet is this one this one is i i yeah okay Okay, let me get you a report number that this will be documented under. Okay. Just for your guys. Uh, so if they ended up coming back at us with an eviction notice because we called the cops, isn't that like retaliation? What it, What is um, that? Like, can they do that? I mean, I think to evict you guys, they would have to have like a legitimate Legit reason. You yeah. can't just evict someone for anything else. Like okay. for just because you want to. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure they would have to have some type of legitimate reason. Okay. Never know with them. It always happens to the ones that don't bother. <laughs> Unfortunately. Metro 38 Gutierrez, number Number is 104-587-104-587. 30 cup. Okay, so this will be the incident number that is documented under. Okay. Basically, it's just documentation for what happened today. I'll, I'll list in here that I spoke to them about the matter. Spoke okay. To you. Um, if anything else, just give us a call back. All right. All righty. You guys have a better day. What is a pe or this doesn't have to have anything? It, it doesn't really. I, I don't know how to think. Yeah, no, no. There's there's no. It's just basically documentation. Not, okay. Because you know, there's no so criminal. So just it's reported. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you guys are just documenting what happened today. Okay. And then in the, in the report, it'll say what you guys said and also that I spoke to them about it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All righty. Thank you. You guys have a better day. You too. So I just wanted to say with this hunting dog situation. So I'm yelling for my grandson. My daughter said, go in Quentin's room. So when I went into my son's room, I seen my grandson standing, looking out the window, crying. My daughters did record all that. And, you know, when I watch that, it's really heartbreaking to watch my grandson crying. Now, they're saying that they always, they told the cop, they always do this. They send hunters. Okay, my 54 years of living there never had a hunter in our yard. Maybe down their side, I, I'm not sure, but never once, never once. So there's one lie. Now, if you notice the landlord, the younger one, she asked the cop, what did they say? Did they say we're harassing? Okay, so when you watch the part of my daughter, she never mentioned about harassing. But you know why she said that? Because that's what they were doing. They've been doing little things and big things to harass and intimidate us. They're bullies. Now, my, my hubby was at the shop. And when I was on the phone with the landlord, hubby came home. And I could hear him yelling for the hunters to get out. Yes, he was swearing. 
So now I'm asking my daughters while I'm on the phone with the landlord, who called him? Not me, not me. Okay, so hubby came upstairs and yes, he's yelling at the landlord on the phone, swearing and yelling, yes. What do you expect when you did something like this to his family? So when it was all said and done, I asked hubby, how did you know? He said, our grandson called him up crying, saying, Papa, you need to come home now. There's hunters and dogs and they're killing pigs in the yard. That's why he came home. But before he left the shop, he called the cops. He didn't know that the landlord had sent the hunters. So he called the cops. Now, I don't care if it's their, they own the land. That shouldn't have happened in our property that we paid rent for. That should not have happened. They should have called us and let us know. They did all this on purpose. I don't care what anybody says or think. I know them. There's so much more, so much more to this story. And I'm glad that I have taken, whether it's voice recordings or video recordings. I'm glad I did that because um, big name in a small town you ain't going to look good. But anyway, that's what happened with that. Hubby didn't know it was the landlord. I wasn't even going to tell him, but grandson called him. I also forgot to mention that when the landlords did, when the landlord's husband passed and they did their first walkthrough. Actually, it was their second. They, they did three walkthroughs, which one was an actual walkthrough. The second one was just to make sure that there was metal outside, that they wanted it gone. So they came to check that it was gone. And I did bring up about the wild pigs because they made us get rid of our goats that would take care of the, the lawn, keep the grass down. But we had to get rid of the goats. In fact, we had to get rid of their goat too. So the younger landlord, her son had a goat and that goat would come up to our place and never leave. So hubby would feed that one too. So her boyfriend at that time, hubby had mentioned to him that their goat is up at our place. And so the boyfriend said, oh, I'll come and get them and then just gonna, they don't want it. So they're just gonna throw it on the side of the road. So hubby didn't want to see that. So he said, no, it's okay. The goat can stay here. Well, they made us get rid of all our goats. And we got our first goat in 1969 and we always had goats. I think the most goats we ever had was 10 at one time. So at this time, five goats. So we had to find them a home, which was very heartbreaking on everyone. Actually, you know, they offered, they offered to help remove the goats and throw them all on the side of the road. Because there is a lot of wild goats here in Kona. And hubby said they wouldn't survive. They're not wild goats. They're pets. But they didn't understand that. And I have a recording on that too. Why? They, they couldn't understand why. Why couldn't they survive? No heart. Again, no heart. When you have no heart for animals, you absolutely have no heart for humans. And that's her son's goat. I don't know if the son knew that they, that we had the goat. I have no idea. But anyway, I had to um, let you know about that, that they said that, you know, I mentioned that, okay, what about all the wild pigs that's coming around? Because they come by the hundreds. My son has a picture of my whole yard covered with these pigs. And again, I have it on recording. Well, we can't do anything about the pigs. Wild pigs are everywhere. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But all of a sudden, they figured out how to control the wild pigs on the property by sending hunters. Now, whether these hunters had knives, guns, I don't know. But I know they had to have some kind of weapon. Again, 
Ki Lao. So anyway, now we get to the, gosh, you know, on this next body cam footage, I really have to take notes because, you know, you I can watch it four times and I and each time there's another lie. And I have proof and you will see it. So let's get to this next body cam. We have having problems with them, but they complain about the condition of the house, which we agree it's not. It's a terrible condition. And so we agreed that we need to get them out because we have to fix this house. It's not livable. No one should be living there. But they had nowhere else to go. We weren't trying to keep them out. But now it's come to the point where we gave them 45 days notice legally. Had a lawyer write it up to give them 45 days. And they've been moving out, and that's been great. But now they've taken off windows and doors. And I feel like that's or I don't know, it's real property at this point. So, I don't know. I'll go talk to them. Barry, will you block her? And him? You can stay here. I'll go talk to and them. Like I said, I'm not saying that these are the guys stealing it. The <laughs> Jeff Cho has his shop over there at the uh -huh. old um, adult daycare center. Not sure who's been tripping off, but one of them has. Okay. And Jeff and Sherry are on the... Sherry Cho is the... Um, She's the one that's on yeah. the lease or something? Okay, you can talk to him. I'm going to go talk okay. to him, okay? What's your name, sir? What's your date of birth? You own the property, too, or? I'm a boyfriend. Okay. My mother and I do. What was your first name? What's your date of birth? And last for your social. What's your residence address? Like I said, I have no problem with these guys. I'm not even saying they're just moving stuff out, which I understand. It's just that we now the whole backs of the windows and doors are missing. It's just yeah. what's your contact phone number for you? Do you guys have a rental agreement with them? Yeah, we do. Okay. Do you have you that? Do you need that? Do you have that? No, I, I don't want any bad. Like I'm not. I don't. Have, well, there's that. I mean, he's the the. Him and his wife Sherry are the tenants. Up here. Yeah. Okay. We'll talk to him. Um. Yeah, I can, I, we'd have to see the agreement. A lot mm -hmm. of times when it comes to stuff like this, it's mm -hmm. all going to be. I'll be honest with you. Most of it's going to be civil. Good sir, how are you? We're just concerned. I know you guys are moving stuff out, and that's great. But you know, you've stripped off every window and doors and things like that. Well, and that's our We bought it. You got receipts for all that? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. We bought it from Lowe's. Okay. Yeah. I just, I'm not sure because I don't know what. We everything there we bought. That was just a two bedroom shack. So let's see the receipts then. Anyway, everything is legal. We'll, we'll handle this later. You can take us to court if you want. I, if you have to, we will. I know because you've been trying to get rid of us for a month no, already, right? You've said yourself the house isn't safe. It's I not know. safe, know. right? I don't know. you agree? You wrote us a letter All your house is not safe. All our houses are oh, not yeah, safe? Yeah, definitely. You don't even know what our houses are. You know are. what? Everybody told me what's going on. We all oh, okay, Jeff. You go you, ahead. You go ahead with that. it out. You've learned it out. Everything already. Okay. We're not going to say this. You guys just yeah. take yeah, it back. I have no forward. problem with them, this but I'm just saying it's a simple matter. So no. I don't know I, why she called you guys. Well, we're just here because we've been called, sir. So that's yeah. why we're here. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you yeah. over okay. here. <clears throat> so it's a civil on. matter. You know? It is a civil matter, but we're here to mediate peace. Yeah, I know. We don't want a civil I'm matter turned into a criminal matter. Shibuya. Shibuya. I have a suffix junior. I have a so what's going on, Uncle? I don't know. They're evicting just everybody. Evicting everybody They're evicting everybody. They're raising the rent. Wait, is this yeah. is it all not just old, this? Or all is the it... old, uh, all the old tenants, all the old tenants. You know. Yeah, you need to relax. So, this house and the owner just this one. All of them, bro. They get planning. They get planning houses over here. They did illegal stuff without permits. The okay. county coming. 
The county coming for you on this one. Okay, Uncle, we'll go over there. No, that's not why. That's not why you got me out. You wanted to get me out a long time ago. You said it on a cat. You brought it out. You told me all kinds of stuff, too. So, you know, you're old, you're old man. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm So if he's saying that they have receipts for it and stuff like that, that's something that you have to take to him okay. with court. Um, because he's lived here at this specific residence yeah. for how long? For how long? Oh, he, him himself, probably at least 10, 15. Yeah, that's, I mean, he's, this is his residence. Yeah. This is where he's lived, even though he's paid you rent. Okay, you need to relax. Yeah. Okay, he's lots of videotape. Okay, we'll see about that. That's why we had to get you out because we do have to make no, it safe. That's yeah. not why. That's not why you got me out. You wanted to get me out a long time ago. You said it's on a camera. Central 34, you email me or I need to copy that. What? Bike works. Call. You Do you have the original rental agreement? Do you guys have a rental agreement? This no, is this is the first one we've ever had. We just started it. These, when I, but you said he's lived here for 10 years. Yeah, yeah. it's okay. just been a verbal agreement. Okay. There's been no problem. Okay. The house isn't safe. They have become problem tenants. We did ask them to leave, give them 45 days notice. Yeah. They've been moving out, that's not, but I just thought when they're starting to remove, strip the whole house down, I don't know. Yeah. Is that, it's real property? It yeah, but it depends. Who knows if they actually, I mean, you're telling me that you don't even know if they put it in there. I don't, I don't know, know if they have receipts. They have or not. Yeah, so I mean, how are you going to assume that's your property? Once and it gets bolted down according to real estate law. Yeah, but that's a civil. A I understand, but that's a civil matter that you guys will have to take up in court because they've been tenants of the property. Okay. If I buy a door because I broke my door in my house and I'm renting it, you automatically have possession of that property because Once it I've gets installed bolted it. Down according to according to real estate law. Yes. Okay. Because but, if you remove that. Yeah, but we do. We don't work on real estate law. I understand that, but but if you were to remove it or leave it broken, it's damaged, and therefore we have to replace it. Therefore, yeah. it'd be the same thing as me coming and stealing a window out of your car. You have that's to a little replace bit it because that. That's... I mean, you know, what I mean, like, okay, say I rented a car. Yeah. And I remove the car, or remove the window. Yeah. That becomes an issue. But there, there's a contractual <laughs> agreement. Um, you don't have any contractual agreement no, from agreement before as as April. Know. So who knows if it's their windows or not? Um, okay. Another question. They do have to remove everything that is their personal. They can't leave. That's also a civil matter. We're not, mm -hmm. We can't just... Okay. Uh, I mean, it, it's not littering if they're just leaving their stuff. It's like if someone pays a deposit for a rental agreement and they don't pay the have, Do you have a deposit from them? No. Okay. No, we never ask for one. So like any other agreement where there is, the renter pays a deposit to the landlord. If that deposit is not made or there's damages in this case that needs to be made on the house, mm -hmm. then you don't give that deposit. No, no, yeah. I understand but that. But if they don't even have a deposit, I mean, it, yeah. it seems like it's been verbal up until right. April 1st, 2023. Mm -hmm. So there's not much, I mean, that we'd be able to do if you don't even know what property is yours on the property. You seem confused. Does that not make sense? No, it doesn't. I'm just, I know, I know real estate law. Okay. And it is illegal to remove. Do you have that statute? I just, it's just, it's, uh, it's theft. Either way, if you put something into a home or remove something from a home. Show it to me. It,
those are considered real law. Okay, real show, me, show me the, the law, the statute, the Hawaii Revised Statute or the Hawaii County Code. Well, I don't have the book. So you're just showing me what is real, a definition of what is real property. Yes, this is just what real property consists of. Any fixtures and anything that is part I, of the home. So I, if it needs to be replaced. I understand that, but show me the statute. I don't have that. You, you, you're telling me that it's theft. Yes. Well, this is explaining. This says it. examples of real property. Yes, this is explaining it. The short answer is yes. As long as the light fixture is attached to the structure, it means a buyer can safely expect the fixture to be automatically included in the sale of the price or re rental of the unit. Okay, I'm not going to get into it. That's if you're selling the house well, and you have a previous agreement of the okay. fixture of the house. I just bought a house. I, I went through the whole entire process. I know. What and it's real the same thing is. as get them giving a piece of property back, whether it's been added on, whether it's been, see, like, I had a set of rims yeah, from my apartment when I lived in the apartment. The a cops, set of what? Rims, tires and rims. Tires, yeah. Mm -hmm. The cop showed up and asked me if I had a receipt. I could not provide one because I bought them off of Marketplace. I couldn't provide that information. The cops told me that that was not my property. Even though it was in my possession, they were in my storage unit in the back of my apartment. They got stolen from my apartment. The cops said because okay, I so didn't have a receipt. It wasn't, steal it wasn't stolen off of your car. It was stolen off of my property. Off your property. I wasn't the officer there. I don't, I, know. I I don't know the entirety of the, the call. I just don't feel that it's right that somebody could remove a window. I'm not saying it's right. Like, I'm not if saying they it's... can't provide a, a receipt, then that is real property to the property. And that's something that you have to go to court for then, if that's something that you want to go through the whole legal yeah, process. I guess, yeah. And my my thing with that is if I would have provided a receipt, they wouldn't have, would have went and arrested the guy that took the prints. Do you have a receipt of the windows? No, I don't. Okay. I mean, my dad we just passed away two years ago. He the was property. a landlord. I, no, I know. But holds, if we're going to go off of that specific basis, I mean, no one has receipts. You know what, you know what I mean? It, I, I'm not saying they may be lying. They yeah, may be I, saying exactly. that they bought the windows and didn't actually buy the they windows. Do. If no they lie. did... What? I said they are. Yeah. So and but we can't determine if they're lying or not. That's that's, that's not. I know. I know. And that's why I was trying to say that once it attaches to the structure, you still okay. Real property. But sir, you still haven't and if he showed can't me that statue. Provide the receipt for taking it back, then he is stealing. You you know what I mean? Like, I do. But it's a civil matter between the the landlord and the renter. They've been living in the house for ten years. Oh, his wife's been here longer than that. But. Yeah. Um, I, and I understand the first, I mean, it's, we have to deal with, yeah. and not specifically this situation, but right across the street from Mango Court, there are yeah. squatters on Central the property. Oh, right. And there's, you guys have to, yeah, right. because there's such a way line between the and the renters, I mean, these people came onto their property, weren't even living there, had a fake rental agreement, and because of that, through the courts, they have to go through an eviction process. Because they told us that they were living on the property and they had this rental agreement. Okay. Later on, it was determined that it was a fake rental agreement. But there, there's a very a gray line between what we can do. Mm -hmm. it, if, if they came onto your property and stole your windows, that's a different story. Mm -hmm. But they've been living here for however okay. many years. This is their residence address. So they're, I mean, if today or tomorrow is their last day, you can just keep chipping away at the house and keep taking stuff, basically. I mean, is that what it is? Do they leave tomorrow? Yeah. So they can continue to take just whatever they want. Whatever they want, because they'll say they put it gone. in and they can just chip away at it. That, like Central I said, that's something they have to talk about in the court. Okay. If they come down and they're taking down the whole foundation of the property. Do we have an ETA when the city and county be back up? Okay, and then, um, like, all the stuff, tents and all these Dang things it. they have here, that's all there. Copy, thank you. If they don't remove it, is there that something, like, we're left with all their junk? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that that's another civil, civil matter. matter. Theft is a criminal matter, but leaving stuff here is a so that would be a civil matter. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, can uh, we just talk to them as far as making I, to say that you? Uh, I mean, if you. I'm not going to cause it. Yeah. You want to come talk to them? For sure. Did you hear? 
Give us a number for the Spanish coffee. 54 years. Oh my gosh. And after 52 years is when they finally did a first ever walkthrough. Right. So, because the... Like a walkthrough just to check on it or something? Yeah, they did a walkthrough two years ago after her dad had passed, because he was the main mm. guy. So after her dad had passed, her and the mom took over. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then after, yeah, 52 years of living here, um, they did a walkthrough inside and out. And the thing was concerning, all they were worried about is getting rid of metal outside the roofs and whatnot. Okay. Um, within a year, they raised the rent three times. Oh, yeah. So it was, they were paying, I don't know, like 500 something, and then now they're up to like 1600 It's like $1,600. That's our stepdad. That's your stepdad. So, yeah. yeah, so, I mean, the, thing, the way they were going about things was just kind of chicken shit for me, to me. It's like we're trying to get help. We're trying to call new stations. We're trying to get attorneys. We're trying to get representatives, senates, whatever. <clears throat> Because all we asked was for repairs, and then they kicked us out. Well, kick, I mean, I was born and raised in this house, too, but yeah. just the way they went about things, and everything's it's not up to cold, it's unsanitary, it's unsafe. Found out they claim all of their 800 acres agricultural land. Mm. They're paying $200 a year for taxes, and they have 20-plus homes on dwellings on their property for income. And right. So we're finding out all this stuff, and it's not right. There's so much illegal stuff happening after we went, and we're not actually... After all this, we're not fighting to get the house back. Because would you want to live here? I, I mean, mean, I'm not going to say I wouldn't want to. Yeah. It's like the way they went about it was shit and shit. Yeah. Just asking for repairs. And okay. then they get hand delivered an eviction letter. Yeah. So, that is, but the way, when the did way all they went that, about it was bad. When did all that happen? They got the eviction letter like November. Okay. And so they gave them. Thanksgiving. My mom got, gave them a letter before November to do up with a list of repairs and then right. I, I know they have like so much days to work yeah. on it and then and then they have within that yeah. day then get the eviction I think probably was that guy that gave my mom the eviction letter yeah. and but then the they way have they went about it was then they have 30 days to um, evict 45 45, 45. So okay you already copy that living here for 54 years they gave us 45 days but another tenant they gave them 6 months 4 months you know but it, it is it's hard but, I mean, it's up to them however long they want to get I know, it. but the way it's, everything is illegal here. It is. It, and we're, we're, it's coming to light. It's going to come to light. You know about this thing going? Everything is illegal, what they're doing. They get, like, 30 houses. Yeah, I just told them that. This is your stuff? This is your stuff. Oh, okay. I'm healthy. And you live here, sir? Yeah. yeah okay. You know, I, I, I moved here with Sherry. I married her 10 okay. years ago. You know, we've, we've been together. You know, oh, okay. And uh, this is what they've been doing. No, it's okay. You want to go through the. I was, <laughs> I was like sneaking up on me, man. I was like, yeah, oh, no, what are you doing? We're peaceful people. No, it's okay. Actually, yeah. Peaceful. I'm glad you guys are peaceful. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're trying to get out of here. They gave us 45 <laughs> days. Yeah. They gave the people down the road uh, four months. You know, they're just trying to get rid of us because I called the cops after they, they let uh, hunters come in here and kill pigs on the side of the house in front of all my kids, you know. And really bad stuff they've been doing to us, you know. Okay. They've been doing bad stuff. They yeah. made me get rid of my animals. We had them for years. As yeah. soon as a dad died, they kicked in. Yeah. They kicked in. 
Agreed. You, agreed on kick it. You had a, a you had an agreement with the dad? All agreed. Uh, everything was agreed upon. Who was the dad? What's his name again? Hey, check Jeff. out YouTube, man. Jeff. Uh, Jeff? Yeah. Sorry, can I just talk to you? I'm trying to, trying to figure out the situation for everybody, just to make sure everybody's got their, can yeah, tell their story, just a, yeah. Just no, it's, a, it's, it's just a simple matter. It's just yeah, it is. Padilla? Padilla, yeah. yeah. Padilla. Or, yeah, it's Padilla is okay. Just <laughs> um, Padilla, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it's a civil matter as yeah, of right now. She's she's claiming that um, there's some damage to property or something. We built the shop. <laughs> yeah. You guys came inside. Come I inside. haven't gone inside. Come inside, you guys. Come inside. Come inside. They made us. Live, like they made us live in here. All the shacks look like this, bro. We I'm built what? that shed so we were knocking it down. The little wire. Oh, you put this. You put up this right here. Well, the axe did. Yeah. So look at the wiring on the deal. See, this is all live wires. You see this? We, yeah, yeah, this is so sketchy. Stuff, yeah? And I had to prop up the house every time under here. Uh, where at? Oh, under here. Yeah, you see all the, the wiring. It's all live, and I had to prop them up because oh, the, the thing's soft, yeah? It's all live, that's why. Yeah, these Perfect. guys, they treat us like, they treat us no good. And we got, I got to put all the money into the house, yeah? And then they raise the rate on me. So I said, so you can fix the house right on, you know? No. Hmm. I said, how are we going to fix the house? Did the yeah. dad Did the dad ever say he was going to fix the house? No, he, he, let us, he just let us, you know. Who was uh, the dad? Uh, um, what was his name? Uh, oh, shit. Just... Let, me take a, let me take a fish. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, my fault. Yeah. 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 So my wife raised like, her six kids in this house. Oh, I don't know. This my floor might fall through. She had six kids in this house. It's a little bit sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, she raised them as much as she could. Oh. Yeah. And then I, have, I was trying to rebuild them like this one. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to rebuild them and then they started raising the rent. Yeah. So. Yeah. I cannot do it anymore. Yeah. I did this one. So you, you said you raised your kids in the house. How long did <laughs> you live here? In, in her 10 years with my wife. Oh, your wife. Okay, so how long my did your wife had the 10 kids, uh, 6 kids. How long did your wife live here? 52 years. Wow. Yeah, 52 years. Okay. So yeah, you know, I don't think we need, yeah. Yeah. I think we gotta put buckets every time we tell them they don't like. So you know they oh get out they're dangerous because they like they like bring in the and they like raise the rent you know on there like that guy he just moved in the holly guy oh. they raise the rent he get out smart here. <laughs> just trying to rent, uh, rent them to the kids downstairs. Mm -hmm. They get six in this little house. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me it's get your information, you know. okay? I'm gonna talk. To, I, 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 I'm, I'm. I got your side of the story, um, and I'm. So you, what you're saying is you've been fixing up this house. Yeah. This house has been. I mean, you you nearly put it together, huh? Prop it up. That's about it. Oh, oh careful. God. I almost just <laughs> fell off the freaking so, stairs. They're, they're, okay. They're actually, she don't know that she's in a lot of trouble. Oh. Yeah. The civil, uh, the county is going to come. They're going to condemn places like this. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, um, let me get your information. And like I said, I got your side of the story. You guys, you guys put up a lot of this stuff and the stuff that's broken you guys are trying to fix they made all the tile in here everything yeah. this was all mud but you guys aren't away. or you guys did the tile yeah oh nice it's all mud. Yeah. oh let me get you oh no i don't want to give you uh what's your first name Church, I went to church with her. Yeah. Maybe, sorry, what's your birthday? Yeah. I stay all that guy. Your current address? I don't know why, houseless. Um, you staying anywhere with anybody? Uh, no. Or uh, maybe but a mailing? My, my main location, yeah, because I work, yeah, I have, we have our own business. Is...
And then you have what? a cell phone number to reach you. Uh, what do you do over there, Haleki? We uh we we doing uh, Turo cars, oh. and we also do. Um, I'm a reseller, bro. We oh, do cool. storage auctions like that. Oh, oh nice. yeah, we find all kinds. It's the coolest okay. thing in the hall. Yeah. So nine grand in cash. <laughs> 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 yeah, I just piped in the thing too on top of that. Nah. Top, everything is all upside down. Oh fuck, I lost money. It's not too way in the back, bro. Central three two. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> Um, YouTube so I'm, I'm this is just someone at the end of the day and and I'm gonna give her I'm, go, I'm going to give her advice if she wants to pursue it civilly in civil court we could have a civil court judge do yeah, that. I want him. That's yeah. That's I her right. Him. That's her right. That's like everybody's to, I right. I don't know how to get in there. It's one of the beautiful things about it. I don't know how um, to get in there. You, know? you got to go to the lawyer. Oh yeah, you got to get a lawyer. Yeah, that's a thing. You yeah, civil lawyers are so hard to. They get money. They and they can, are. Ex- they can hire one. Yeah, guy, they're expensive you know? too. Yeah. yeah, they get one guy already telling us we got to get out. Yeah. So, I'm, I mean, she, she could do that if she wants, yeah. but I'm not yeah. gonna. I don't see yeah. any Fine. anything kind of close to what she was saying. Yeah. But um. As of, however, I'm, as the police, I cannot be, I cannot be one-sided, yeah, so I have to, right. I have to so try to, yeah, my best to be neutral, be like right for the, the most part, yeah. That's why they like my windows and my heater, yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my hot water heater. You bought, the the yeah. you bought all those things yeah, that you're taking that yeah. she's saying is hers, you bought them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And she okay. let me come up with the, oh my God, we probably get them, yeah. Yeah, we okay. pretty much fix everything. Yeah, okay. Only so obvious, yeah. Only yeah. yeah. obvious, yeah. If okay. the house is falling down, you got to fix it, right? Yeah. No more window you put, right? Yeah. It's fucking you, girl. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. So I'm going to talk to her. Yeah. You guys are good. Uh, can you Thank get a report you. number for them? Yep. And then I'll get you a report number. Thank and you, And then sir. it'll just, it'll pretty much just say, Hopefully here's I the get, facts and circumstances. I'd love to go to court. Yeah, maybe you could talk to your son about how to do that. I don't yeah. really, I mean, with civil mm-hmm. court, so. Yeah, you got to get on job. On yeah, and, and it's, it's a lot of, what does the judge think is right? Right. You know what I mean? And sometimes you, they're not going to agree with you. Um, that being said, I'm going to talk to her to tell her the same exact thing. Okay? Right. Yeah. Um, but you guys are leaving tomorrow. Yeah. You guys are. You can call me. I don't care. Oh. Like I said, I don't have a problem you with any of you guys. Me. I know you guys are all here clearing stuff out. I don't know who owned the windows, like I said. I My dad will just pass away. Okay, I okay. God, why would all I, I see is all of a sudden like things that. are getting taken you off windows. Yeah, okay. Guys, okay. guys, guys, guys. Yeah. Okay, so here's... Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. Everybody, everybody. I don't want to start yelling. I will start yelling. You guys are in trouble. So, I want you to go back over there, please. Because I'm trying my hardest to keep it civil. Okay, so can you please go back over there? That's all I can say. Dwelling in All your tenants, let them know that the county coming to check their houses. It's still agricultural land. It's a complaint. She, you should see how you guys said you're here for taxes. Guys, guys, guys. Yeah, guys, guys. you guys should sell hey, land. Hey, 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 just sell uncle. some land. Uncle, and uncle, they pay uncle. all the fines. You're the one that told us you uncle, should this uncle. Down. Sell some <laughs> land. Sure. Sell some <laughs> land and then pay all the fines. Uncle, uncle, uncle. But all your houses I want, look like want this. I want this to be people. I try. Sir, sir, sir. Okay. I'm trying to make this as peaceful as possible, okay? As peaceful as possible. Right now, you guys both have your peace. Well, We're going to say it. I don't know why she did either. So you guys stay here. I'm going to go talk to her yeah. over there. Okay? <laughs> please don't I have to, to, Please don't I have to, go to, over to, there. To, oh, that's her dog? Yeah. That's their dog. Yeah, I have to. I have oh. to, to oh. Yeah, you guys got to tomorrow. Yeah. Go. Get out of your dog. Okay. Holy shit. Two one nine eight. Can we press charges or not? Press charges against what? Theft. There is not a theft, sir. Okay. I've, I've, I don't know how many times I've been told. It's a you simple matter that you have to talk in court. They've lived at the residence for 10 plus years. And it's fine. They're legal. They're legal tools. They should rip it down. And that's pretty much what they get. You can't do with them in there. I thought this would be stealing. It's not. That's fine. I understand. Uh, you already told her that? Yeah. 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 So here's what's going on. So that house is not livable. Um, there's there's no way. I don't know how somebody was that's living why we in there. Them out. Yeah, that's great. 
Um, are you the owner? No. Please. Okay, I'm gonna talk to her. Sorry. So uh, that house isn't that that that's. It's awful. I don't know. You're not in trouble for that or anything no, like that. It's I'm just totally that's awful. that's just totally that's wild that somebody was living in there. Okay. Um, and they were living there for a pretty long time yes. since before, when your dad was owning yeah, the property. Yeah, my dad still died alive. a couple years ago. My mom and I have just we did our first look at the building. We hadn't even seen him before. So right, so that was probably a good window. thing yes, that absolutely. you did that so that they, they don't get hurt. And they were also paying about $300, mm -hmm. so we had to go up a little. In order to fix anything, We, ha I mean, $300 rent is just insane. So we've raised it, we've raised it. Okay, so anyway, here's what's going on. So I think he explained it to you, right? Yeah. What this guy is claiming, Jeffrey, he's claiming that the property that was, like the windows and certain things like that, are his because he fixed it. He fixed them. He per he bought the windows. He bought the 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 countertops, things like that. Okay. Those are his that he bought, or he did whatever with it. That was his property, so he's taking it. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, and when I look in there, I'm like, man, I don't even know if there was ever windows in here in the first place. Well, we just were in there. So, but yes. But again, that's if he's mm -hmm. saying that's his property, then we got to take this up civilly. Um, it's a landlord tenant issue at the end of the day because technically they're still tenants right now yeah, until tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Yeah. And so um, it's a landlord. Uh, tenant issue unfortunately so if you want to take it up in civil court to try and get that the windows or whatever the um, whatever else is missing or anything damaged then you can do that but this happens all the time where landlords haven't done a walkthrough in 10 yeah. years or whatever and then they do and then oh there's holes in the wall why didn't you tell me about this why didn't you tell me about the broken window you fixed the window but that's my window. You know what yeah, I mean? So it's just written. kind of. They just wrote us a couple months ago saying yeah. how bad, right? And so we, right. we said we absolutely agree. Yeah. And here's 45 days because we can't fix it with them in there. You right. saw it. I mean, right. that's, that's. Yeah, safe. no, they can't. They shouldn't but be there. No, there. it's not safe. It's not um, safe. Yeah, I almost fell through the floor a few times there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of sketchy. So, um, but that's, that, that's, that's all I can do. And I would highly advise you yeah. not to go over there and talk to them. Because they're in a bad mood. Yeah, you're you're in a bad mood. It seems like everybody's fired up. Well, they keep recording us and then putting it online. Yeah, that's you know what happens. Slander. Yeah, that's what happens stuff. all the time. Yeah. That's again, that's civil. I mean, I get recorded mm -hmm. constantly. Yeah. Right. So yeah. we we're, it's it's just one of those things that people could record you all they want as long as you are in a public area or a you know anything like that. Property, if they right. come up, but they're still living here. Yeah. You know what I mean? So <laughs> they're still on the lease technically. So. It's, kinda, you know what I mean? Been evicted 25 days ago, yeah. 40, three days ago. So right. they have this period of time to vacate the premises. Right. They're not on the lease anymore. They're not paying. Yeah, as but a they're tenant. but it's a you know squatters right? Yeah. You know squatters so they rights, have, right? They have, they have one more left. day or yeah. however long before a sheriff comes and pulls them out. And which I hope that's not going to happen because they're leaving. But yeah, um, totally. Um, can we ask that they, I mean, they put up all these tents and we're going to be left with all the, I just don't want to be left with like their metal and all I, the junk. I mean, it can, it's you, gonna be civil. yeah, it's going to be civil. Like I could go ask them, but only thing that's going to do <laughs> is piss them, them off. And then yeah. Yeah, it's going to be, and then it's just going to be, we're going to have to be breaking up another like argument. Yeah, no. You know what I mean? I don't want them to get physical. No, I don't want y'all yeah. yeah. to get physical. I don't want to get physical, <laughs> you know? So I, that's not what we want. At the end of the day, like I said, they're leaving. Yeah. And. Take it up civilly if you could, if, if you can, you know, yeah. or if you want to. You know, you don't have right, to. I'm I guess. Find it worth our time, but did okay. he give you a report number already? No. Okay. Did you already air it or not? Mm -hmm. okay, will you go ask him over? Um. Yeah. So, like I said, there it sounds like I mean it's emotional. You know what I mean? You know how it is. Like you grow up in a house and you're you're there forever, yeah. and then you have to leave, regardless of the circumstances as to why you're leaving. Yeah, it's gonna be emotional. Whether it's you're getting evicted, which is obviously not cool. That yeah. sucks. Yeah. That's a, that's an emotional thing. Or if you just have to leave because you can't afford it or you're whatever. It's gonna be emotional. And I think right now what's going on over there is there's a lot of emotions, and it's being it's being let out in an unhealthy way that's towards you two. That's what the that's a lot of what's happening, oh, yeah. and that's a lot of what we deal with in general. As the yeah, police. they had cops come because we had pig hunters kill a pig over here on our property. Yeah, he just told me about that. that. Yeah, he so... told me about that. So okay. again, it's, it's, when it comes yeah. to property stuff, most of the time it's it's civil. Yeah. Um, okay. Do you have any other questions for no. me? I'm sorry, I can't do more. No, it's okay. Um, I just thought removing stuff off of yeah. property you own was. Yeah, Fact, but, but again, it's, 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 just, it's such a hard, it's, like, I was telling someone this morning, the way the law is written, it puts everybody in a tight spot. 
Um, well, except for the suspect. That guy's telling him I interpret it as, you know, once a fixture is bolted to a building, whether yeah. you bought it, he bought it, I bought it, she bought it. Right. Once it's bolted it and replaces really? something or goes into a, you know, like that window specifically, if it was broken, that's damage. Mm-hmm. They could be liable for damage. Yeah, they could. If they remove the window and didn't replace it, that's right. theft. Because right. that's real property. Right, right, now, right. I have to hire somebody to come replace it and fix it. And if it goes over a certain amount, that's where it becomes a legal matter. Yeah, yeah, but civil, According yeah. to you guys, it, that's not the case. It's all civil. It doesn't yeah. matter. What the, yeah. We have a receipt, but he has a receipt. I could for him. I, I had a set of rims stolen out of my shed. Oh, you did? I bought them. Right. Paid cash. Right. Then buy them from the store. When the cops showed up, they asked me if I had the receipt. I knew the guy that stole it. I right. knew the truck they were on. But when, when I, I gave him the license plate and everything, these are the rims. I have pictures on in my shed. Right. Cops ask me, do you have a receipt? No. Right. And then I walked away. Right. Who is it? That was here? No, no, no. Oh. That was in Alaska. Oh, okay. But the thing is, is the, the, the whole thing about the receipt is, is whoever they have it or whatever it's on becomes real property. Mm. Same with the structure. The, the real structure, it's basically Just keep moving your stuff, part Jeff. of the property. And if they don't have the receipt and they're removing it from the real property, that's where it becomes illegal. Right. But yeah, laws are different everywhere. And like I said, the way the law is written for theft here, it's that it's it's it, this isn't it, right? It's when mm -hmm. somebody takes something from you. But if he's claiming that it's his, that he bought it, and he, he bought it to repair his house, then that's – he could take it if he wants, technically. You know what I mean? Like, okay. that's, that's – it's, it's – and even that – even if you were to have in the contract, because it's a legal contract, right. even if you were to have in the contract, do not take this real property. Mm -hmm. That's still something that you'd have to deal with. They'd, they because could still they say they bought the it. And they... So basically with their store, if I walked into their store and took a window back, that's, that's that. stealing. That'd be okay. But he doesn't have a receipt. I don't have a receipt. No, it's not about a receipt. Did you mention or, receipts? No, he was mentioning. Oh, that's not about receipts, my man. It's about I I said that. oh, it's it's not about receipts. It's about the fact that he's claiming that he bought it to re make repairs. You know what I'm saying? So it doesn't matter. I wouldn't even. I've never asked for a receipt on a theft ever. I've asked well, we're who it owns this. Was you know, I've asked like who owns this thing, yeah. and he's saying, "Oh, I own it." That's okay. because mm -hmm. it's and it's my house. I bought it. In my I mind, put it in if my somebody house. Somebody goes and breaks all the windows out, and goes and buys new windows, and then takes all the windows. Yeah, but that's the thing. Them. But that's the thing. How, how the do windows you prove break? It? How do you prove it? Well, how the windows break? Right. Well, if they maliciously. See exactly. Yeah. We don't know. So that's what I'm saying. And they came and brought them back. And yeah. Them in, and then they took them because oh, those windows were broken. But yeah, you did exactly. Like, that's why it's civil. That's why police are like, yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that because yeah. we can't even prove anything. You know what I mean? But I hope that clears it up a little. You know. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. No okay. Right. Like I said, I would recommend you guys stay away yeah, from over here. Okay. What's your name, dude? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, see you later. Yeah, you guys got to Okay. Sorry, can I see this one more time? I need the number again. Two two zero two. Two two zero. That's gonna be your number, yeah. Thank you. Um you get any kind of questions in regards to the report, Officer Padeo gonna be lead investigating officer for him. No worries. Living in your car and everything. So you understand how we feel, yeah. I totally understand where you come from, Uncle. I'm from Kau. Oh. So I I I get him. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just, I mean, it, it's all scams when asking for repairs and they get the eviction letter. The county, the, yeah, the county, all the new people down there, they're calling on the poor people down there, I heard. Yep. The county called them. He probably saw all the locals. Yep. Taking yep. all the locals. Yep. Yep. Work um, on their land, raise their rent. I don't know if, I don't know about civil court, if they do the one where, like, they're willing to do pro bono kind. I, I, I don't know how I just that's not civil that's not criminal gotta, stuff yeah, yeah. yeah I gotta find I gotta find a lawyer who would because is you know they're gonna win they can win somebody's land they get 800 acres they own from the highway all the way to the ocean they can sell some land they get plenty money you know greedy yeah 
some acres to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway. Yeah. I, I'm happy now that I'm getting out of here, you know. It was yeah, fun. it's just not about just like hard, man. fighting to I never like the homeless or something, you know. The things that you it. invest into it too. It's just how do you think about it? It's so greedy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it looks like you guys are moving out. You guys are doing what they ask. I mean, this is a constant since the dad passed. Yeah, she said dad passed her ass. Mm -hmm. like you bought everything, and it didn't fix nothing. And that was from before she was born. <laughs> the first thing they did was get me get, get, me get rid of my goats, you know? And it was clear. All this thing was all nice and clear. <laughs> Not it's the natural lawn mower, that's why. Yeah, not the goat. Really they get the wild pigs that come. And <laughs> you have to get rid of the goats, but they never get rid of the pigs. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'd say best thing is you guys just keep... Just do what we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be out today. And yeah. That's and why I came so I can get all rubbish dot show this away. Yeah, it's pretty much it's just all rubbish dot runs now. And then just, just while I was pulling out, you know, Paul said, you know, okay. That's an issue. <laughs> And pops in there. Right. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We're just trying to move out. Yeah. And take our belongings. Yeah. <clears throat> Even the windows. Poppy bought it. Poor Jeff bought it. I don't know why her boyfriend's trying to explain anything. He's from Alaska. Right? Yeah, he's from Alaska. Yeah, he from Alaska. <laughs> yeah, he just, just months ago and gave me out in a picture. He wouldn't inspect the house. He was acting like he didn't inspect the You know what? We we'll, we'll take out. No, we have this place packed, yeah, because they do eBay, yeah. Yeah. I mean, we have an eBay store over here. They know that. I'll catch them off guard because I know she'll talk anything. Gonna can't fire down drunk, yeah. She was starting up and stuff down. So I knew I'd um, clear out all my stuff, and then we give them that letter because they're gonna jack them up on one hundred for everybody. Hundred dollars. Oh, everybody. So I can go all that stuff. Really from 8 to 1600 yeah. <laughs> All three times within a year. Yeah. So, well, from 550 to 1600 Oh. Within a year. Yeah. I mean, you know, they pay 1600 for this stuff. I... But then they were, they were told back in 2019 that they were in the process of trying to buy a house. My mom and stepdad. Yeah. You know, but COVID, prices were stupid. They put in bids. Five times their price off. They get overbid, but so they weren't ready. Give us time. We're yeah. trying to find a place where we want to get out. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, five times we tried. Yeah, we're still trying. Let's take get one. Yep, this dish. This is it. You go school, bro. Yeah. What school you go? Oh, yes, sir. You're still, you're still down there, sir? Yeah, I still live out oh, there. Oh, what did you say? Yeah. Oh, Drive. I see all the cars coming this way early in the morning. Sad. I want of them. <laughs> Sad. Okay. <clears throat> you know what? They should always make the, uh, the track over here, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah? they should have. Would, would have been more easier. Would have been straight yeah. shot. Yeah. <laughs> For everybody, all the way to law, one time. Boom. That's how though. Don't get funny complaints. Blocking my view. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's so sad nowadays. It's a cool thing about Kaudo. Kaudo don't change. Like my town, I live in Nalehu. Still yeah. all the same oh, people. Beautiful. Same up. Uh, same I wanted people. To, I wanted to move down there, but she was like, oh, hell no, we're not going to move Quiet. Yeah. Everything just slow pace. <clears throat> we got a little pig farm out there. So. Mm -hmm. I was raising Kailo over here, 1970 we started. Oh. Kailo. We came out with sand pan from Honolulu. Both, yeah. We came in Kailo and that was it, man. It's so beautiful. Oahu is nuts now. Yes. Dangerous. I get plenty of family members that live out that side because my, my dad's side originally from Oahu. Yeah. We got plenty of family out there, but oh. we used to, I remember we used to go all the time when I was a little kid, and it was still populated, but not, oh, now it's just like, can't even go outside at night, right. you know, ciao.
Especially for the couponers, you know, they're like, oh my god. People take and advantage. You know, over here, see, I do a lot of storage auctions, yeah. A lot of uh, the elderly get kicked out. You know, like, yeah. they pick on us, you know, these guys. The guy from Alaska. I don't know what the hell he did, that opinion. <laughs> Ah, shit. Just leave him, just leave him. Alaska, the case. Just leave him. He'd be relevant. Opening his lip. <laughs> Come on, we got to go, man. Before we get no uh, in trouble, we're going to get out in time. I mean, <laughs> we was here. You know what you guys what are going to do? Call us. <laughs> no, <laughs> like, but was see, I, I didn't get so much time at these guys. But, uh, I mean, they're going to tell me not to spend any money after that tomorrow. Then they're going to charge me for whatever left. Yeah. I'm not a game already. I know I'm already. These guys are evil. They kicked, the first guy that kicked out was a guy over there downstairs. They said he was leaving his chair. The thing was overflowing his toilet. He never like called in because he was scared to get kicked out. Sure enough, the people upstairs at the store. Mm -hmm. I'll get store and you know, somebody yeah, living yeah, yeah. downstairs. But anyway, they call oh the toilet plug, right? Upstairs. So they send them guys over there, open the door, you know, shit all over. Oh he living in his shed, you know. So they kick him out, he gave him king. He used to walk over here but he took in, you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They kick him out. He was the first one during COVID. He's boggled, man. He cry out, they throw out all his stuff. <clears throat> Brother, this Hawaii, brother. Come on. So how can, you know, they, we never got a lease. They'll force us, my wife, to sign a lease, you know. She was coerced and said, there in front of the kids. They sign the lease, or sign the lease, or get out. She, you know, I just told her, just sign them. I'm not ready, right? Just sign them, you know. You get she video crying, video yeah. Too. She crying, had to sign them. The model. Evil. They, they were evil. To do a walk they didn't do a walk yeah, they came they straight from make us sign. And then they, they didn't give us some copy of what we were signed. So all that's super good information. Yeah, it's bring, that, bring that stuff to court whenever she, so if she tries to do the court stuff. Oh, yeah, you guys decide to. Exactly. Yeah, hope. then you guys use those recordings. Yeah. I'm going to use you guys' recording too. His one's say on. Yeah, mine's on too. Yeah. Or it was. I just turned it off. Now, so I'm her. But um, yeah, use all this stuff. It's all good. All, yeah. Use everything you can. Mm -hmm. go, I got to go on foyer, see what she said, everything. Yeah, paperwork yeah. or lack of paperwork, yeah. any recordings. Yeah. So. Um, sorry, I couldn't help you guys more. Sorry, guys. Sorry that you, you guys have to They call you guys help. for that. You know, they, they just want money from us. You know, I, I had enough. And you should see, poor thing, these guys. They make them fix the stuff, yeah? The lady standing over there. You know, it's like, you know, I had enough of kissing your ass. Being worried about getting evicted. You know what I mean? I, I did not. Okay. I, I'm too old for that shit. I'm going to live homeless. <laughs> Hopefully you find a place to stay. Yeah, right? yeah. We will, we will. Do you have any other questions for us? No. no. Okay, have a better rest of your day, guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. guys. So mahalo for watching this um, body cam footage with us. Well, actually, not with us. I had to watch it first, and I'm glad I did because I caught all the lies. Now, they called the cops because we did um, property damage, theft, as you folks seen in the video, we take in windows and doors. Now, the house had no windows when we first moved in there in 1969. It was a coffee shop, had no bathroom. It was a coffee shop. The bathroom was an outside toilet in the coffee land. My dad had to build a shower and toilet under the house. So yeah, 
there wasn't any. And then my, when I had my tutu, taking care of my tutu, my uncle had built a shower upstairs. So it was easier for her than walking up and down the stairs. So that's that. Now, when they did their first walk through after 52 years, they seen there was no back door. So what are they talking about? We took doors. The front door we had put in because we added on a room there. So we put a front door and between the living room and the kitchen, we had added a screen door many, many years ago when my kids were small. So they could not come in the kitchen when I'm cooking. So that was taken. The front door, I don't think anybody took the front door. I can't say, but I know the door going into the living room, between the living room and kitchen, that was taken, that we put in, all the doors we put in. But anyway, yeah, so they seen there was no door when they did their walkthrough. They also seen how damaged the house was. And we did tell them at that time that since 2019, we been looking for something to buy. As everybody know, at that time, COVID hit and everybody was getting priced out and people were coming in with cash and buying all the houses. So it, it was crazy. There was so many houses we seen we wanted and we could afford it. But from 400,000, it went for a million. People were just bidding up these places. It was ridiculous. So then interest rates went up. So then we decided let's just hang on another year or two and hope things kind of settle down and we'll go back on the buying market. And um, we've even been looking to rent because we knew the house was not safe and it was unhealthy. So we were looking to rent, but as everybody know, rent is high. Now um, we've come across a lot of local people here that, um, cause we do storage auctions and they will call hubby and say, Hey, I want to sell my whole unit. So, you know, he gets the story and it's a really sad story. They get evicted because the landlord wants to rent their place out for more money, knowingly that these are kupunas that live on social security checks or disability checks, and they can't pay any more rent than they're paying now. So there's a lot of houseless kupunas here, lot. We've been getting calls almost weekly to go look at somebody's unit and they would usually tell hubby what they want for it and just take it all because they can't afford it. Then um, they rather him. Some people actually would pay him you know, maybe $150 or something to please take my unit, but it has to be cleaned out in two days. So please take my unit. I can't afford paying for this rent anymore because even storage units, the rental is going up. Everything is going up. So yeah, when they did their first walkthrough, I don't understand why at that time they didn't terminate our lease knowing the full extent of the damage of the house. And they, they knew, I mean, you can tell, we only was repairing what needed to be repaired for our safety. Now, we knew the house so well that we knew where to step, where not to step, so we don't fall through the floor. So as you can see, the cops almost fell through the floor because Hubby's bad. He didn't tell them, walk around that area. Don't walk there. You know, he just said, be careful. But um, yeah, it's, it's unsafe. It's unhealthy. It's a fire hazard. You know, lucky we were home. I can't really remember because it happened a while back, but either we were home or we just got home, but we smelled something burning. And in the living room from the floor, there was a fire starting right through the carpet. So we got that out and it's all from live electrical wires. Um, we've had a couple electricians come in and they said they're amazed they're, that the house didn't go up in flames. And they even said, if this house looks like this, all their houses looks like this. And that's going to be sad if something like that was to happen. Really sad. 
But anyway, um, in fact, the, the house next door to us, from my bedroom window, there was flames and they're all running out and putting out the flames. I think they did call the fire department. I really can't remember, but I just remember seeing fire and they were trying to get it out themselves. Now, nobody wants to call the landlord and tell them anything because they will kick you out and nobody has anywhere to go. So this is why everybody stays hush. I'm not staying hush anymore. Ever since they sent the hunters with the dogs, that was the last straw for me. That was the last time that you're gonna harass me or threaten me. I think about it every day about my grandson, what could have happened to him or any of my children, but especially my grandson because he does go out there to play. What would have happened? I just, I, I live with that every day. And my grandson, I, you know, my daughters did a recording and listening to him cry, that, that is very hurting. They, they have no heart. I can tell you now they have no heart. And I knew it all along. I knew it all along. But anyway, all the repairs that we did on the house, all the extending or the adding on, whatever we did, we got the okay from the landlord. Now, their dad was not the landlord to begin with. It was his parents. So we would get the okay from them. Now, when his dad died and his mom took over, I remember calling her because there was a cesspool problem. So she had to get someone to come up and dynamite the cesspool. And then she called me and said, Sherry, this is the last time. And that was only the first time I called her. If you folks call us again for any repairs, I will give you folks 45 days because that house is not worth anything to us. So we're just leaving all our houses. This is what she said, and I know I don't have proof of it, but she said we're leaving our houses as is until it just deteriorates away. So, you know, I, yeah, I, I did even at that time try to find a place that um, it was hard. I was pretty much a single mom of six kids taking care of my tutu. And then I ended up taking care of my mom. So um, it was tough. You, you just had to do what you have to do. But um, the house didn't have windows. It had screen. So when it rains, I would have to staple black trash bags around the window frame so the rain wouldn't come in. So when I met hubby and he seen that's how I was living, he went and purchased windows and put it in to the house so I didn't have to use trash bags and I wish I have pictures but I didn't think this was all going to happen of them calling the cops about us taking windows but there's staples all around the window frames of the house so right there is evidence of I did put trash bags up and staple it there there's a lot of staples around that window seal because I mean the yeah whatever the window frame because then I would take, when it's done raining, I take it down. When it rains, I put it back up. So anyway, um, so basically we were told by the landlords in the past that we have to fix it ourselves, do all our repairs. Um, right now at this point, I think all their homes should be condemned and knocked down. It should be. It, it, there's no way you can remodel or repair now there's houses that looks worse than ours you'll see them we have recordings of them taking out all the rotten wood i guess because they heard we're going to county so they've been rushing in the heavy rain and all that they're taking out all the rotten wood from one of the houses that they evicted someone that lived there for i think 15 17 years they're taking all the rotten wood out and you see them carrying in plyboard new plyboard so they're basically covering a deep stab wound with a band-aid. So I, I think they're rushing to do that before um, maybe county coming to inspect their properties, all their houses. How could you not fix our house that fast? I know. So 
the uh, the other house that's next door to them that they evicted that guy they ended up putting immigrants in that house that had to pay the high rent had to spend their own money on repairs so basically they used them as slaves and i'm saying that because a couple of them that lives in separate housings of theirs had told hubby that they're getting so tired of it they're looking at trying to find some place to rent and it's really hard especially for a migrant immigrant to find anything so you know the landlords use them as slaves anything they want done like when our water pipe broke they made them come and fix it he even called hubby and said i don't want to do it but if i don't do it i'm going to get kicked out so i have to do it so you know that's that's all you know that's really sad what they're doing even the cops couldn't believe the condition of the house. They couldn't believe that anybody could be living there. And then the landlord is saying, well, that's why we're getting them out. No, that's not why. That's not why. You wanted to get us out to put immigrants in and have them do all the free labor and buy all the material to put a Band-Aid on the house. <clears throat> they need an electrician up there. A licensed electrician and licensed contractor they need the county to come in to get it permitted i mean it's just everything is illegal everything is illegal sorry i'm looking at notes because when i watched that video it just blew my mind but um she said we were paying three hundred dollars Okay, at once upon a time, we were paying $300. In 1969, it was $75. With a $75 deposit, so you do have a deposit. Rent would go up hardly. $25 to $50 maybe if it does go up. So by the time mother and daughter took over, I was paying $500 a month. Then they raised it by a few hundred. And then they raised it double and then they raised it again another one two hundred whatever it was you know and everything was within a year i didn't have a problem with that i really didn't i was i never mentioned to them about raising the rent we did ask so if you know you're doubling the rent will you do the repairs and we have it on recording and she said, no, we can't do repairs. All our houses need repairs. We can't afford it. All their houses need repairs out of their mouths. I have it on recording. So yeah, basically that's the reason why when all this happened on November 4th with the hunters and the hunting dogs, I sat down, wrote that letter. I knew I was gonna get evicted, but I was at my ropes end. I couldn't take it anymore. So I wrote the letter of all the repairs needed to be done, certified it, mailed it out. Day after Thanksgiving, well, they had the inspectors come up, her boyfriend. I don't know who that other guy is now. So they're not really inspectors. They're fraud. So the day after Thanksgiving, the boyfriend served me the eviction notice. And I was home by myself. And I said, you're the boyfriend. He said, worker, that's what he said, but it's the boyfriend, as you can see in the body cam, he said, I'm the boyfriend, yes. So, you know, you can see all the lies. So you can imagine what we went, we went through so much. I have so much recordings, but I'm keeping those. I, I may share it with you folks at another time, but right now I'm keeping a lot of it for what I am trying to do. Um, oh, and then he, the boyfriend said, we are squatters. We haven't paid rent. So let's show a full page front and back that I paid December's rent. And you know, when you get evicted, you really don't have to pay rent. You could be in AO and just, I'm not paying. I paid December's rent and I paid one week worth of rent for January because we had to be out on the 8th. So I paid that week and the whole month of December. And here's my proof. They cashed the checks, they deposited. So I don't know why they're telling the cops that we were squatting and we didn't pay. 
there's another lie. Now, maybe boyfriend really doesn't know that and she said that we didn't pay. I have no idea because she's standing right there. Why didn't she say, oh, no, no, they paid. Watch out, boyfriend. The lies. You don't know. Now, she does have a auntie who's her dad's sister that should be in charge. She should be the one in charge of all this 800 plus acres and 20, 30 houses, whatever it is, probably more by now. She should be in charge, but they pretty much booted her on the side. And as you heard in the body cam, when the police officer asked, whose property is this? And she said, mine's and my mother's. No, it should be auntie's. When they threatened me to sign the lease and I asked, can I read over it? I didn't get to read it. I don't know what I'm signing. Can I read it, sign it and take it to auntie? No, she's not all there. She's losing her mind. We need it now. Okay, well, hubby seen auntie at the post office when he went to drop off packages one day and she had some envelopes in her hand and he said, oh, plenty checks up. She said, oh, no, 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 we just got, um, she either said three or four um, new tenants. So that was their rent checks. And then he started to drive off and he said, you know what, the heck with this. And he went back and she was still sitting in her car and he told her about how they're kicking her to the side and they're taking over. And she said, what? He said, Sherry has recording. Call Sherry. She'll share the recording with you. She said, oh, I'm going home right now and I'm calling them. I'm sure she did call them. I'm sure they came up with a good lie that Auntie may believe. But um, Auntie needs to see this YouTube so she can see that the niece says, it's mine and my mother's. Yeah, they're just they're just throwing her on the side. And um, it's it's sad, very sad. Oh, and the other thing, my advice to you, young girl, don't drink and talk. So she goes to these campfires and, you know, drinking. And then she starts talking about how, oh, auntie would be so hurt to hear this. Because that's her, this girl, her dad that died, that's auntie's brother. And she really loved her brother. But, um... She told everybody at the campfire that her and her mom wanted to do this for the longest time, to raise everyone's rent. Dad refused. Dad refused because he knew you can't raise the rent without repairing, and he's not going to repair. So she told these guys at the campfire, now that my dad is dead, we can do what we always wanted to do. Yeah, that is awful and you know what that's the truth the dad passed and in about three weeks we got the letter that they're raising the rent and they're doing their walkthrough wow now her ex-boyfriend when they had kicked out the first tenant that lives downstairs of an antique store they kicked him out saying that he was living in his mess and that really yeah, he probably was, but it wasn't intentionally. He, um, the plumbing was bad. So everything was getting backed up. He never did call the landlord because he knew he would get kicked out. He's disabled. He's elderly, walks with a cane or a walker, lives on social security, can't afford anything. But it was the store upstairs that contacted the landlord that all this plumbing issue was going on. So they went there and they seen the place and they kicked him out and as he's standing there he's crying watching them throw away all his belongings he loved his um dvd movies and cds and books and whatnot and um they threw everything away one of the guys that was helping to throw the things away asked hubby hey because they know he's a reseller hey you want to take any of these stuffs Hubby refused because that was Pila what they were doing. He didn't want any involvement. I don't care if he, that boy, that guy had something there worth a thousand dollars. Hubby wasn't going to do it because that was Pila. But anyway, what they did was they took out the bathroom and shower from that small cave. It's a cave. 
honestly, I've been in there. It's a cave. There's no wood around. It's a cave. And so when it rains, you know, there's some rain coming down in there. It gets really moist. But they took out the shower and the, the bathroom, the whole bathroom, and they tried to rent it to Hubby for $1,700 a month for storage. Hubby said no. That was really too expensive. What is it? 300 400 square feet? No. So they ended up putting a toilet and shower back in to rent it out as a studio. And so her ex-boyfriend was working on that. And he seen Hubby one day and he apologized to Hubby saying, Uncle, I am so sorry. I have nothing to do with what these guys are doing. So... For him to apologize and say that, you know, that he knows these guys were doing wrong. Oh, and another thing. She said that was the first lease ever signed. Well, I guess that she knows of. So in 1969, there was one lease. When my mom and dad divorced, they made another lease just under my mom's name. Now, when I made 18, I wanted to help my mom out. So I asked to put my name on all the utilities and the rent so I can help to get that paid. So then that was a new lease to add my name on. Now, when I got married to my kid's dad, they never changed it. They never, yeah, they just left everything as is. And then when I got married again, the second time, I called them and told them. And again, they never changed it. So this new lease, all they have is my name on it. And I list hubby and my kids as household members. And the reason for that, campfire talk, um, if anything happens to Sherry, we booting everybody out. So that's why it was just my name. So just to show you, which I can cover up names here, but gosh, how can I do this? Gosh, I know this ain't enough proof for you, but... Um, this is one lease. This is dated in 2018. This was actually not even a lease. It was a raising of rent. They raised it $75 more at that time. Now this one is a lease. And this is when I added my name and my mom's. So I added my name along with my mom. So the landlord at that time made out a new lease with my name so I could sign. And it's a one page, simple lease for a house that needs to be condemned. So yes, that's not my first lease that I got from you in April of 2023. And did I mention, maybe I did, but I'll mention it again. They're paying ag land taxes on all their properties. They claiming it as ag land so they can pay cheap taxes for land taxes. So um, that's illegal because you're not supposed to be making income off of your ag land with the dwellings. That's supposed to be for workers to stay in to work on your farm. So all their houses, they're getting income now, are they filing that with the IRS? I don't know. We're going to look into that too. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I just tipped them off. Oh, well. So, um, yeah, I guess I, I think I covered pretty much of it. Oh, that was the other thing at the campfire. So I noticed hubby was taking things out from the garage, all my eBay racks and stuff that I still needed to look through and post on eBay. They were in boxes, tubs, some bags, but they were on shelves. So I noticed him, you know, a couple days in a row, taking things out. Then he started taking the shelves. So now I asked him, what are you doing? I didn't get to look through those things yet. And he said, oh, I'm going to go put it in my container because he does have a 20 foot, I guess it's a 20 foot container park on somebody else's parking lot. And he said, I'm going to store it in there so we can drive our car in further because when rain, we don't have to walk in the rain. So I really thought that's what it was. 
Well, after we got evicted, hubby said that the people she talks to when she's drinking around the campfire, she said that they were going to shut our business down. So that's why hubby jumped on it and started getting all the stuff out because they were planning to shut our eBay business down that we couldn't do it from the house. So it is what it is. Oh, and the boyfriend only been in her life. This boyfriend is from Alaska. He's only been in her life for maybe less than a year. So he knows nothing. But for him to be standing there, you can see the cop is getting pretty frustrated with him. Show me the Hawaii statue law. You're not in Alaska anymore. Actually, they still fly back and forth. So he lives Alaska. She goes with him and then they come back and they do their illegal stuffs with the houses and so on and so on. But anyway, yes. We are still home. We're not homeless, we're houseless. We are still houseless, but we're leaving this. I don't know if we'll ever get a house. Um, right now I'm just looking for rent, just to rent the house. I thank my Ohana for taking us in. We go different houses and I, I don't really have much Ohana here. I just have my two sisters. My The rest of my family lives in Honolulu. So I thank them for opening their doors to us, my niece. But we are trying to find something to rent because this ain't a good time to buy right now. So we'll we'll just, you know, but it has to be reasonable. They, someone wants to rent a one bedroom, one bath for like 3000 something. It's like, no, I'll just keep sleeping on the floor at my family's house. Never mind. Anyway, I do have a lot of recordings that they don't know I have. I will use them when I need to. I am still sending out, I am sending out more letters to government officials and other entities. I, I am in the process of doing that. I've been working on some of that when we got here this morning. And I'm attaching my YouTube channel to it so they can go in and see. They can see all what these guys are doing, what the homes look like and so all the evidence pretty much. Um, I will also be having um, per in-person meetings with some of these officials. Now, if they had just left us alone and did not, that hunting thing is what did it. If they had just left us alone, none of this would be happening. We would have been looking for a place and getting out. You leave me alone. And in fact, I have a recording of her telling us that when they came and forced me to sign the lease, they left. I guess the mom was in the car. I don't know how they came, drove up, walk up because they live right down below. And she came back up, the young one came back up and said, oh, Sherry, you forgot to initial this one place. And so she showed it to me where I had to initial. And um, she said, you know what, if you folks, um, we'll leave you folks alone if you folks leave us alone. Deal. But they didn't leave us alone. They kept harassing us, threatening us. I don't understand. It's all about greed. And these people have a lot of money, a lot of land, but they want more. So my mission is I want them to feel what I feel every morning when I wake up, what I feel throughout the day, and every night when I gotta find a place to put my head down at night. I want them to feel that. I know they will never lose the house that they actually live in, although they could, because it could be unpermitted and built without permits. So we'll get all that taken care of. But yeah, I'm working on all that. And we're going to go back to our storage auction video videos. I'm really sorry that um, we put all this drama in there, but I did it for a reason so that people here, the officials, the government, the county, they can see. And I'm hoping the police officers that I got the body cam from that came for the um, property damage call, I hope they watch it so they can see. We did pay rent. We're not squatters. Oh, and wait, shouldn't they get arrested for a false police report? Huh. Oh, and the other thing the boyfriend wanted us to get 
criminally charged for was slander because we video record and post it online. Okay, Brada, let me tell you our First Amendment right. You can video record on your residence where you pay rent and you can video record from public as far as your eyes can see. So if that's going into your private property, I can do it. So anyway, we're just, we're, we're leaving everything up to our Akua. On his time, on his will, when we get a place, that's when it will happen. I'm not gonna stress about it. I need to stop carrying this on my shoulders, get it off and leave it in his hands. And it's up to him. From this day on, it's up to him. So I want to thank you folks for being patient and watching all this with us. But it's really, it's really bad what is going on here. I'm sure it's not only Hawaii. I, I'm sure it's everywhere else. But um, we're losing all our Hawaiians here because of them being evicted and they're moving out to the states where it's cheaper. And it's sad. It's greed. That's all it is, is greed. We all need to get together and do something about this. It is absolutely wrong. So anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you again for watching. We've got um, more auction videos and we've got a parking lot sale coming up in a couple days. So I'll be videotaping that, how we do on that. So until the next one, mahalo.